Good morning, good morning, and good morning. It is a beautiful Wednesday in the Arkansas Delta. Thank you so much for, uh, hey, just swinging by and grabbing a cup of coffee with the pastor this morning. Uh, hey, we're just going to be hanging out for a little bit. We're going to be reading uh, again. We're still in John chapter uh, John chapter 8. So uh, if, when uh, you get on, grab your Bible and uh, head on over to John chapter 8. I'm going to just share this broadcast real quick. And... Uh, I will be right back. I'm trying to suck down some coffee today like mad. I, I need coffee bad. And uh, I, I'm running about a quart low. Have you ever felt that way? I am distinctly running about a quart low. Hey, when you get on, say good morning. Hi, Nisi. Good morning. Good morning. Let's see. I'm going to share. I'm going to hit the share button. Right here, who all is on in the building? Say good morning to me this morning. Let me know who all is here. I am hitting that share button as we speak. I would encourage you to do the exact same thing. Hey, go ahead and hit that share button real quick. And uh, say good morning. Good morning, Pam. Pam, Pam Jones. Good morning, Miss Jesse. Good morning. So glad to see you ladies all on here this morning. I am sharing. I would encourage you to do the same thing. Hit that share button. The share button. Who all is in my office this morning? When you get in, when you get on, say howdy. When you get in and get on, say howdy. And grab your coffee. Grab your Bible. It is time to chat. Ooh, I got to turn that volume down. I've been working on something new this morning, and I forgot to turn the volume down. Let me see. Good morning, Mr. Houston. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Who all is on here? Let me see here. Who is that? That's Mr. Houston. Good morning, Sandy. That's Sandy and Jack. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Can't see everybody. So when you get on, say good morning to you, Pastor. Grab your cup of coffee. Grab your Bibles. Good morning, Dylan. My man, Dylan Williams, D-Man from all the way up north in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Good morning, Dylan. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you're staying safe, my brother. Hey, one day soon, it's on, brother. It's on, so just get ready. Uh, it is get ready. Good morning. Good morning, Patty Hall. Good morning. Good morning. Glad to see you on this morning. Uh, let me see here. What all is taking place here? Dylan, you got to send me pictures of your new car, brother. Uh, make that happen today. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. Good morning, JJ. Good morning. All right. Everybody in the building. Everybody is here. Hey, we're John chapter eight. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, yesterday was a phenomenally productive day for your pastor. I got so many things done yesterday as we get ready to uh, move forward uh, with uh, the, the re-entry back on our campus. Uh, uh, did quite a bit, a few things that I'll be sharing with over the next couple of days. I can't wait. I'm so excited. There's, there's some exciting, exciting things that's happening. And, uh, I am just so, so thankful. There's Miss Denny. Good morning, Miss Denny. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, yesterday afternoon and today I have been gathering all the sound equipment and getting it ready. Uh, and I'll be test driving all of that, making sure all of the bells and whistles are working, getting ready for Sunday. Uh, are you praying right now that God is going to hold back the rain and the storms? Because right now, last time I checked, we were at 60% uh, chance of having storms on Sunday morning. And so I need you to pray like crazy, okay? Uh, if we could just have that window of time to get out there on that parking lot, set the equipment up, have church, and take the equipment back inside, then... And it can rain all it wants to, but I really want to see us back on this campus on Sunday morning. If there is a that chance of storms, folks, it will be online only. So I'm just, just letting you know ahead of time. So we got to be praying. Also, don't forget, I shared just a couple days ago to prayer drive. If, uh, if you get out in town, uh, I would encourage you to uh, make a specific drive through your community and uh, drive specifically to our campus and just take your time and drive around the campus property and uh, just pray that God is going to use Sunday as a powerful day uh, to draw people unto himself and that uh, we will have literally as many cars as possible parked on our lot to, to come and to hear, hear God's word, to worship together. And then uh, focus on the back of our property. Just go focus on that cross and just, uh, just spend some quality time in prayer. 
Uh, I do want to encourage you to do that. If you can do that more than once, then please do that. But at least one time between now and Sunday, uh, if you would just please make a very conscious effort to uh, to have a, a, a very uh, small prayer drive and you pray for the people you see, pray for the homes you see, the businesses, so that uh, uh, we get uh, prayer coverage. Also, I shared yesterday that uh, if you would like to make signs, and stand on our driveway as you come in uh, that simply says things like, welcome home, Ridgewood, we're glad you're back, or something along those lines. Grab a piece of poster board and make those signs. Miss Denny has already said she wants to do that. So Miss Denny's gonna be making a sign and gonna be out on one of the drives. And if you would like to do that, all, all you need to do is just let me know so that I know how many people's gonna be out there. Uh, I'd like for you to be out there around 9.30, okay? Uh, that way you got a good hour for folks who's gonna come in because I, I have a feeling uh, if the weather holds off, we're gonna have a good crowd. Uh, so if you'll just come on in and uh, make your sign, go grab a piece of poster board, get some colored markers and just have fun and to be able to hold it up out there and to love on people as they drive in our uh, church campus. Would you do that? I need several people that uh, would be willing to do that. You know, four, five, six folks that uh, would do that for about an hour and just uh, meet and greet folks on the campus as they are driving in. We need them on both entrances because, uh, uh, as you know, we'll be pulling in on both sides and parking on both sides of the campus. So uh, plan my paper drive this morning. Plan my prayer. Oh, thank you. Thank you, uh, Miss Denny. Thank you so much for that. Uh, okay, lots and lots and lots of things going on. Uh, on Bible study tonight at 6.30, we want to encourage you to be online with us tonight. That's at 6.30. Uh, we are continuing in the book of Exodus, so I definitely want you to be there. Have your Bibles ready. Have your journals ready to go as we continue on. Guys, I just have to tell you something. We had a great time last night on Zoom with our uh, uh, Zoom Sunday School. We had 19 people uh, online last night for our Zoom Sunday School. It was amazing. Brother Larry did a killer job on Romans 13. And it was just so exciting to see our numbers continue to grow. Uh, but 19, are you, are you hear me? 19, and this is open for anyone. So uh, uh, you, your friends, uh, if they'd just like to join us uh, on any Tuesday night at 7 o'clock, we would love to have you. Uh, we post the uh, invite, the invitations, and the password. all goes online uh, around 10, 10 minutes to a quarter till. And uh, uh, it's just fun. You know, it is, it, it's fun and uh, you can stay at home. You can be in your PJs and uh, um, you'll have your coffee and your Bible and just just, just prop back up and have a, a good time studying God's word together there in the comfort of your home. So that's Tuesday nights at seven. And again, tonight, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys online. Uh, let me see here. What else we got this morning? Miss Danny, you're planning your prayer drive? Uh, hey, hey that, that's a good idea. Plan it out. Okay, plan out where you want to drive to, where you want to go, specific places, maybe houses in front of you want to drive. Maybe you've got friends or family that you know is lost and that just need to get their life back online. Uh, drive by their house, pray for them specifically. In other words, let's be uh, very intentional about this prayer drive. Be intentional, okay, when you do that, be intentional about this prayer drive. Uh, Sunday morning, guys, I, I am so excited. Uh, we are trying to get the logistics done now and uh, and trying to get it in. Uh, it looks like we've got the trailer secured this morning, and uh, I'm very excited about that. So, uh, hey, just get in, get ready. Uh, things are going to look a little different, okay, because we're going to have sound equipment everywhere. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to make the broadcast work on Sunday morning. So pray that uh, Satan will, will, will stay out of the technology. Okay, because we're going to have a lot of moving parts, a lot of moving parts. Let's see here. I'm not crazy. I love you, man. Message me. I will do it. Be good, D. I'll talk to you soon, brother. Uh, here, here's the thing. God has planned for Sunday, and Satan does not want to have anything to do with it. And so what I want you to do is I want you to pray that Satan will be radically defeated. On Sunday, I want you to pray that Satan and all of his demons will be eradicated from our homes of the families that are planning on being on this campus, that he will be eradicated from this property, from all of the equipment and from each and everything that we plan on doing. Let's pray for the eradication of this, this satanic, this demonic evil that continues to oppress the Delta. Will you pray that with me? Because I want to get serious, folks. It is no longer about survival, but it is about revival. And uh, uh, we're going to focus hard on that starting this weekend. 
And uh, uh, it starts with a conscious effort of prayer. It, it, it's a conscious effort knowing that we are in a battle, that we have an enemy, and our enemy seeks to destroy us. Remember what John 10, 10 says? It says that our enemy only, only seeks to steal, kill, and to destroy. And that is what we have to understand. That is our enemy. That's, that, that's who we fight against each and every day. And so it is about conquering him. We are more than conquerors through him. And we have to understand that scripture is very plain. And so we're going to hold on to that, but pray right now, beginning today, that God is going to begin making some radical changes in the Delta. Pray that God will use us here at Ridgewood as we seek to spread the gospel and to impact the Arkansas Delta with the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's what it's all about, folks. That is exactly what it is all about. Nothing more, nothing less. It's not about, about uh uh, meetings here, meetings there. It's not about committee meetings or doing this or that. Uh, you know, we can committee ourselves to death. And, and I think you, you guys understand exactly what I'm talking about. It is about the spread of the gospel. It is about the spread of the gospel. And so I want us to focus on that. I want us to focus on seeing families put back together. I want us to focus on seeing lives changed, that the focus in the home will no longer be on stuff, but it'll be on Jesus. And that has to be our prayer. And it starts with knowing who our enemy is and knowing that we are at battle and that we're not afraid of the battle and that we win the battle when we are on our knees. That's where the battle begins. Hey, I'm in John chapter 8, and we are going to start reading at verse 37 today, John 8. At verse 37, John 8, verse 37. I hope you're here. I hope you have your Bibles. Uh, uh, this is Jesus. He is still uh, in a conversation, and he is talking to a group of Jews. We found that out yesterday uh, when we were reading. So let's go ahead and pick it up. We are in John chapter 8, and we are going to start reading at verse 37. You guys ready? All right, here we go. I know that you are Abraham's descendants, but you seek to kill me because my word has no place in you. I speak what I have seen with my father and you do what you have seen with your father. They answered and said to him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said to them, if you were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. Boy, that was, that's a gut check moment, isn't it? But now... Excuse me, but now you seek to kill me, a man who has told you the truth, which I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You do the deeds of your father. Then they said to him, we were not born of fornication. We have one father, God. And Jesus said to them, if God were your father, you would love me. For I proceed forth and came from God, nor have I come of myself, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech? because you are not able to listen to my word. You are of your father, the devil, and the desires of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources for he is a liar and the father of it. But because I tell the truth, you do not believe me. Which of you convicts me of sin? And if I tell the truth, why do you not believe me? He who is of God hears God's words. Therefore, you do not hear because you are not of God. Wow. What a powerful, powerful conversation that Jesus is having with this group of Jews. I heard a great quote this past week about the... Uh, uh, the virus and uh, churches and Christians. And the quote was this, and, and I need you to hear this, okay? We may not all be exposed to the virus, but we will all be exposed by the virus. Now you think about that in a spiritual context. We may not all be exposed to the virus, but we will all be exposed by the virus. The truth shall set you free. 
powerful words of Jesus this morning. Hey, I want you to have a great day. I'll see you tonight online, 6.30, right here, and we're going to dive into Exodus one more time as the children of Israel are continuing their journey to the promised land. That is all I've got for now, folks. I love you guys. I will see y'all soon. Bye-bye.